Calculate the total number of molecules in 0.09 grams of water. Give your answer to two significant figures. Okay, so this is a moles calculation and a calculation involving Avogadro constant. We've got two stages to this. We've been given a mass of water, so we're going to need to use uh, moles equals mass over formula mass to start with. MR is the abbreviation I use for formula mass. Uh, formula mass there of water, we're told in the question is 18, so it's 0.09 divided by 18. Okay, now that is going to be uh, 0.09 divided by 18 equals, and that's giving us the answer in standard form, 5 times 10 to the minus 3, so 0 0.005. Uh, if you want to convert it to uh, uh, a normal decimal, then with the calculator will do that for you. Shift in the ENG, but you need to do it twice. I don't quite know why, but you need to do it twice. Uh, 0 0.005 times 10 to the 0, so 0 0.005 if you want to write it out like that. But standard form's fine. 0 0.005 moles. Okay, so second stage now. Uh, we need our formula, number of particles, in this case, number of molecules. Uh, equals moles uh, times the Avogadro constant. I'm just going to, need to say AV because I'm a bit short on space. Avogadro constant. So we need this formula quite a lot, so it's worth learning this one. Uh, so the moles here is 0 0.005 times Avogadro constant 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Okay, so we've got our 0 0.005 still there. Now we need to multiply that. Uh, that is a multiply, that one isn't. Multiplied by uh, 6.02, 6.02. This is the times 10 button. That's that button down there in the bottom of the calculator. It's some, called EXP on some calculators. Times 10 now uh, to the 23. So you can see on the calculator display, we've got a different, this isn't a multiply, this is a times 10. So the 23 equals 3.01 times 10 to the 21. And there is our answer. 3.01 times 10 to the 21, although is it our answer? Because this says two significant figures, that's three significant figures. So that would have to be three. Okay, 3.0 or three times 10 to the 21, there is our answer. All these questions on aylshamhighchemistry.com.